everyone welcome back thank you for joining me for another video all right so uh before i get started i've got a lot of things to show you i'm going to tell you a few things christmas is coming up december is crazy busy um but before we get to today's painting i wanted to remind you guys that i am going to be in san diego california for fluid art with friends for those of you who are in the west coast and want to come and learn live in person with myself and Massey Art Studio, Lee and Jeremy. We will be in San Diego uh, in March 1st, March 1st and March 2nd. I had to think about that for a second. March 1st and March 2nd, I will be in San Diego, California. Uh, two classes per day, four hour classes. If you want information uh, about that event, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com. All right, so San Diego, California, West Coast, March 1st, March 2nd. Then I'm going to be in Asheville, North Carolina. I will be there May 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And that is going to be with the Fluid Art Experience. So I will be there alongside a few other YouTubers. There's uh, Massey Art Studio is going to be there. Uh, Pieces of Tara, Jessica Winchestrom. Uh, Sarah Taylor Modern Art, Kathleen from Cause Creations, um, and a few guest uh, artists. Nate Bright is going to be there. Britta is going to be there. Um, it's going to be a great time. If you want information for Asheville, North Carolina, you can check out the website www.fluidartexperience.com. All right, so now that that's out of the way, a couple of videos ago, you guys saw I did not me but I was part of the TLP December collaboration where I showed a video on my channel that wasn't mine. I did not do that video. Now, you guys had a ton of guesses in the comments below as to who did that video on my channel. So most of you got it all right. And the person who created that beautiful ring pour was none other than Nate Bright. That's right. So for those of you who guessed Nate, congratulations. Uh, there were so many guesses. There was like Lee and Jeremy. Um, a lot of people guessed Mina Villegas. Um, but no, it was uh, Nate. And some of you had the funniest comments. Some of you were like, oh, that's Nate's thumb. Nate's thumbs always bend like that. And I was like, you guys must be like serious avid watchers and followers because if you know that Nate's thumb bends like that you guys are some serious you know long time viewers so that was Nate Bright doing that beautiful ring pour on my channel now you're probably wondering who's who who which youtuber got my video and so now keep in mind this uh, weekend, actually, as you're watching this, Saturday and Sunday, the rest of the people who are part of that collaboration are also doing premieres. So go check out their premieres this weekend. But mine already aired last weekend on someone else's channel. So if you happen to be watching it or you haven't watched it already, head on over to Gina DeLuca's channel. My video went on Gina DeLuca's uh, channel. And I, I haven't checked recently, but nobody could guess that it was my painting because I did something so different, so out of the norm. I did not do a blow up. I did not do a bloom. I did not do, I did something different. And so from what Gina told me, no one has guessed that it was me on her channel. Now, I will show you the dried results of that piece that I did on Gina's channel. And here it is. This is so not me, but it's actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is what I did. And so if you want to check out me doing this on, just head on over to Gina DeLuca, her channel. I'll, I'll uh, try to remember to put the link to the video in the description below and you can go and check it out. Um, and if you don't follow Gina, um, subscribe and follow her channel. She's an awesome, awesome person. But yeah, this is what I did. Um, it's kind of cool. It started off as a ring pour and then I did like a dustpan kind of pour on it. Um, and then I did a balloon, <laughs> a balloon smash on it. So yeah, I did all kinds of crazy things on this. Um, this is a 
14 by 14 inch canvas. I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to put a coat of resin on it. And if anyone is interested in it, um, super duper cheap. Um, I, I don't want to throw it away. It's kind of silly. Um, it's kind of cool, but if anyone wants it, email me. So yes, um, my video was Nate Bright and then go head on over to Gina DeLuca's channel to see the creation of that video. All right. So in my last video, um, I did the green and the brush strokes painting. Um, I had a little bit of a rant at the beginning of the video. Um, and you guys just don't disappoint with the comments. I love you guys. Uh, you guys are so supportive of me and my channel and everything about me. Um, and you guys just really know how to make a gal feel special. So thank you so much, everybody, for the kind words and support and all of that. Um, but yeah, it... Uh, it was, it was really great to read the comments. So thank you so much for that. And I've been thinking a lot about, um, I'm going to do another one and I think I kind of know where I've gone wrong and what I need to do better next time. So the next piece I do, I'm hoping will be, you know, much, much better. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys, um, the dried results. So if you read my pinned comment on this video, I was thinking just to kind of oomph it up a bit. Um, I was thinking of taking a gold uh, marker, metallic marker, and um, adding some uh, gold accents. You can, let's see, did I, what side did I do it on? I did it on both sides. But you can see here, um, I added, hold on, I'm trying to like get the right light, but I did add. Um, some gold marker there and uh, oh I did do it here too let me switch sides so I also added it here and here and here where else did I add it and here right so I added a little bit of gold to it I love how the purple dried with the little clumpy like purple it looks great so here's what I'm thinking I'm thinking of touching it up a little bit more with some gold marker and then somewhere maybe add some gold leafing. And then I also thought, what if I did a border all the way across, right? All the way around, maybe not like over here, like not cover this part, but go all the way around with a thin border of gold, like a dark gold leafing. Uh, and just do a border. Wouldn't that pop? I think it would pop. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think adding, you know, and there's the dark green, if you think adding a small gold leaf border all the way across, if that would look good. So let me know in the comments below um, if you think I should do that. I think I should do that. I think it would just add a little extra oomph to that. Um, but hey, if anyone is interested in purchasing it the way it is, um, you can, you can email me, um, do it sooner than later before I add all the gold leafing to it. But once I'm done with the gold leafing, I will show it to you guys again, what it looks like, um, you know, finished and all that. Um, so yeah, I showed you that, told you that, told you guys about, um, my workshops. Oh, of course. I have teamed up with Loli Veffy. Yes, once again, once a month we do a nice crazy special sale for you guys. So Loli Veffy and I are doing a December collaboration kit. It is called Canela's Kringle Kit. Yes, Kris Kringle. Um, Canela's Kringle Kit. And I will tell you what it entails. I don't have any most of the stuff on hand, so I can't really do an unboxing to show you. But I, while I'm talking, I'm going to slap a picture right there for you guys to see what is inside this kit. So you will get a jumbo silicone mat and scraper. You will get a 16 inch solid wood round. Okay. You will get a 14 inch MDF square board. You will then get a 10 pack of the mini squeeze bottles. Those are my squeeze bottles that I use. That is the size that I use. That is what all my bottles are filled with, um, with my blowout paints. So you will get a 10 pack of the mini squeeze bottles 
and you will get the silver and gold metallic markers. I love these markers. They are my favorite markers. Um, I've tried Krylon. I've tried Sharpie markers. Um, these markers are my absolute favorite markers. Like this gold is like a true gold and that's why I love it. Um, let me see. It just, ugh. so I love these. Um, so you get all that. Now, that whole kit and caboodle costs $101. However, you will get it on sale for 30% off for 70 bucks. But there's more. So not only do you get 30% off and it is $70, if you put in code CANELA10, you will get an additional 10% off that $70 total. So code CANELA10, extra 10% off. Uh, there is limited quantity, okay? I'm telling you guys that right now. And I know I say that a lot about all the other gifts, all the other kits, I mean, but she, you know, there's limited quantity. So if you want to head on over, purchase those, that kit. I love the boards. You know, you guys have seen me using those met, uh, metal uh, stencils. Um, you can use the boards for that. You can use the boards for all kinds of stuff. Great, great, great for Christmas crafting. Um, or any kind of crafting of the sort. So if you want to head on over to lowlyveffy.com, that link will be in the description below. Um, and then again, save an extra 10 using code Canela 10 So Canela's Kringle Kit, all right? Um, okay, so let's get started to today's painting. I'm going to be doing the same color palette as the brush painting that I just showed you guys. So blowout style, let's see what it's gonna look like with those colors. Let me get myself set up and I will be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. So my base color is a mixed concoction that I made myself, I shall show you. So the color is um, olive green deep, I should have known that. Olive Green Deep by Amsterdam. Uh, there is Titanium Buff Light in there. There's uh, also Titanium White and like a drop or two of Oxide Black, okay? So I just kind of played with it um, and then came up with a color that I really liked. Um, so that is my base, all right? Nice dark green color. And the colors I'm going to be using today are now before i forget because i always forget this and i always forget to mention it and i know there's a lot of new viewers watching for those of you who want to know what my ratios are and how i mix my paints for a blowout technique you can check out video number 434 i will link it up here at the top that is a full tutorial on how i mix my paints all right we are using mauve from Holby. I have not used this in a long time. I, I'm really excited. Um, Pearl Lavender Purple by Arteza. And then I have some Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. And I hope I have enough of this. I was too lazy to mix some more. So I hope that doesn't bite me in the butt. Uh, Rose Gold by Deco Art. Okay. And then topping it off, we've got Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. So those are my colors. This is my base. And I think it's gonna look great. All right. And of course, using the flower hair dryer. Um, again, some people said they found it at Walmart's website. I don't know if it's still there. I don't know. But flower hair dryer by Drew Barrymore. All right. I am going to flood the canvas and I'll be right back. Did you guys see how I totally dipped my entire spatula or spatula 
as I like to call it, uh, in the paint. Um, talk about a newbie thing to do. Um, yeah, I totally dipped my entire spatula in there, if you caught that. Um, speaking of spatula, uh, a lot of people who watched that video that Nate did that was on my channel, a lot of people laughed and said, that's not Canelo because the spatula that was being used. So Nate's got one of these and his was completely covered and filthy in paint. And a lot of you commented and said, that's not Canela. Canela spatula is never that dirty. I love how perceptive you guys are. You guys are so unbelievably perceptive and you notice the funniest things. Um, so yeah, I thought that was absolutely hilarious that you guys noticed that that spatula was unbelievably filthy <laughs> and that it possibly couldn't have been mine. Um, cause there's no way, no chance that my materials and my, you know, things that I use, whatever, like even my torch, like, I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's so clean. <laughs> it's always clean. You guys are very perceptive, super duper perceptive. And, you know, speaking of perceptive, let me tell you guys a funny story. Uh, a lot of you quite a few of you have actually private messaged me or emailed me saying, oh, we've noticed this, uh, I've noticed that nice blue ring on your finger, on your ring finger. Did someone special buy it? And a lot of people have been asking me if Anthony bought me that blue sapphire um, pear-shaped ring that I wear on my finger on my ring finger the answer is no <laughs> he did not buy me the ring i actually bought it myself uh in greece i bought it in greece from um a jeweler that my cousin recommended and uh i bought it for myself so and the sad part is last week anthony and i were out for a morning coffee and we're sitting there chatting away and he's like <gasps> and i'm like what 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 happened what happened and the look on his face was like death. And I said, what's happened? And he just points at my finger and I look down and the blue stone was gone. So needless to say, I almost cried. Um, I must have smacked my hand and one of the prongs, you know, broke and the stone fell out and I lost it. And that was the end of that. And I looked everywhere, he came over, he helped me look everywhere. It was nowhere to be found. So the stone completely disappeared. I'm gonna add a little more purple to that. The stone is gone. I'm super heartbroken because, you know, it was my absolute favorite ring. Um, and I, I spent a lot of money on it in Europe uh, and it's gone. So that really sucks, um, but I did um, contact the jewelry store owner and uh, told him what happened, showed him pictures, all of that. And he has graciously offered to fix it and replace the stone free of charge. So I have shipped the ring back to Greece. Um, and so he will fix it for me and I will pick it up this summer when I go back to Greece. <gasps> yes, that's right. I'm going back to Greece and I'm taking the kids and Anthony with me. We've already booked our tickets. I'm so excited. Uh, Greece 2024 summer, here we come. Um, but yeah, super excited about that. But yeah, super bummed that my ring disappeared, uh, the stone, but I'm very happy that they are going to fix it for me. So for those of you who have been very, very, um, you know, perceptive there, you guys really notice a lot of things. <laughs> um, so yeah, in the meantime, I have replaced it with a temporary other blue sapphire ring. Um, and no, Anthony did not buy me that one either. <laughs> but until I get my real ring back, this will have to do. Anyways, let's blow this out. I think I may have overdone it with the Holbein Mauve. Um, I, sh I always tell myself, don't overdo it with Holbein because it's, it's going to take over. So that's what you get. We'll see what happens. Let's blow it out.
This is so stunning. Okay, I wish I had a little more paint to go up a little bit more. I would have liked to maybe stop like up here, maybe just a bit more, but I'm, I'm still very, very okay with that. The Mauve by Holbein uh, really took over, which I'm actually okay with. Um, I wish. I could see some titanium above light in here, but it's completely disappeared with the exception of right here and right here. Um, so I'm a little bummed about that, that the titanium above light just kind of got swallowed up. Um, in terms of the rose gold by Deco Art, it's definitely, definitely everywhere in little parts, but the Holbein, the Mauve by Holbein really took over. Um, so if you are using Holbein or Deco Art paints, you must be very light handed and not squeeze as much as you would with the other colors because Holbein is so rich in color and so concentrated that it will take over and it did like, and it was also the first color I put down. So that's why you see it basically outlining the entire painting um, is outlined by mauve. Um, but I love these colors. I'm, I can't wait to see how this dries because this green is going to dry a lot darker than what you're looking at here on the camera. So it will dry darker. So I'll be very excited to see how it dries. Now, I don't know if there's anything else I really want to do with this. I might mouth blow a little bit of this over the edge. Um, but aside from that, I'm loving this. So I love it. I can't wait to see how this dries. Oh, this is going to be super pretty. I'm See, the mauve isn't really, I still love it. I really do really, 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 really do love it but I was hoping to see more of the dark purple. I do see the pearl lavender. There's a lot of that happening in here. So it'll be interesting also to see what this looks like um, with the flash on and see what the shimmer is like. So let me fix up my edges and I will bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody, before I get to the close up, don't forget to take your stick. And scrape those drips, scrape them all, scrape all four sides all the way around. Come back to your painting about 10 minutes later, they were, there will be new drips. Come back 10 minutes, do it again, and potentially a third time, and then you should be good to go, okay? You gotta scrape those drips, super duper important. The more I look at this painting, the more I am absolutely in love with it. Um, I cannot wait to see how this dries. It will dry darker, so it's gonna have that dark moody effect and I cannot wait to see what this looks like and it's going to dry it's going to get a top coat of crystal resin it's going to look amazing um, I may redo this again I don't know and then you know hold back a little bit on the mauve try and add a little more of the titanium buff light but I am loving this let's see what it looks like with the flash on all right, so the lights are off, the flash is on, and there's gonna be shimmer from the rose gold, and then shimmer from the lilac, the Arteza. Let me see. Yeah, you can see it there a little bit. 
I could have added Pearl Cream by Arteza as well. And now maybe, you know, if I do this again, oh, there's definitely shimmer in there for sure. But yeah, you could definitely add Pearl Cream. So if you try this color palette, you can do Pearl Cream as well to add that little extra shimmer if you want. It's looking good though. And there you have it, my friends. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Okay, let me know. Do you like it? Do you think the mauve took over? Do you think it's perfect? Um, you know, it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Uh, 16 by 20 inch canvas. It is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. You can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com if you are interested. Um, let me show you guys something. I'm going to be doing a end of the year sale for pieces that I have that are still available that have not sold. So I'm gonna just move my studio light here, kind of, and show you guys a quick glimpse of what is available or what's gonna be available. So I know the lighting is bad. There's my studio light, but you kind of get an idea. I will put these all on my table and take a better video of them, but this is what I currently have available and a few other pieces as well. Um, and they will be discounted for the end of the year. So keep that in mind. Look at my amazing TLP piggies. I'm going to show you guys this because I'm so proud of it. So my father built these shelves for me and I put them on the wall myself. Yes, I did get a few good tips from my father over the years growing up, but I've organized all my TLP piggies. And then I've got my Triart liquid paints. And then down here are all my piggies pre-mixed with my Bear and my Jolsonia ready to start blooming. So now that these are all mixed up and ready to go, yes, I have mixed every single color of TLP. I think there are 101 of them. Yes, I'm crazy. Um, but it looks so cool. I love it. Yes, me and my organization. Back to the table, shall we? Okay, so... If you are interested in this, email me. If you are interested in coming to San Diego, California or Asheville, North Carolina, check out the description below the video with all the information and links. Don't forget Loli Vefi Canela's Kringle Kit. If you want it, head on over ASAP before it sells out. All right, you can save an extra 10% off. Link in the description below. I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. So until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.